government planning for alternative kharif crop production. Tributes paid to heroes on Hunger Marches Day. Bajaj Chetak Scooter, Mother Son Duo reaches in fall. Good evening, this is Times of Manipur English News. I'm Mandira, and now the news in detail. Manipur Agriculture Minister V. Hankanian today told the State Assembly that the State Planning Department has already been requested to allocate adequate amount for alternative Kharif crop production besides providing financial assistance to the state farmers. Monsoon crops production in Manipur has been seriously affected by scanty rainfall this season. The minister was responding to a question raised by Wankim constituency MLA K. Megachandra in the House. V. Hankanian added that the state government has taken serious note of the failure in crop production owing to deficient rainfall. The condition has raised price of rice in the northeastern region state of Manipur. The minister also informed the house that the agriculture department has been taking up measures to tackle the situation. Meanwhile, responding to a question raised by MLA Ashabuddin on registration and issue of birth and death certificates in the state, Health Minister L. Jayant Kumar said this is done according to the rule number 5 of Manipur Birth and Death Rules 1995. In another question by Ukrul MLA Alfred Kangam author, Education Minister T. H. Shiradeshyam said that Pettigrew College Ukrul pre presently has seven associate professors and 25 assistant professors for 13 different subjects. The total number of professors is 32, while the number of students is 198, he informed. On the concluding day of the 8th monsoon session of the 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly, MLA Wonking constituency Kasham Megachandra during zero hour drew the attention of the House over a ban imposed on the ongoing construction of Central Railway project by the scheduled tribe demand committee. Manipur to push for the demand for inclusion of Mitei Maitei in the scheduled tribe list. Megachandra, however, termed it as a legitimate demand considering the Citizenship Amendment Bill and ILP issues in the state. All Manipur Students' Union today observed the 54th Hunger Marches Day across Manipur. Floral tributes were paid at the memorial site of departed student leaders located at Pishum Chinga Hill, Imphal. It is worth mentioning that AMSU leaders laid down their lives during a massive protest which was staged on this day of 1965 against an artificial famine created by the then Manipur government. The main event was held at DM College campus Thangmai Band, Imphal. The day is observed every year by AMSU as Chaklam Kongchat to commemorate the sacrifices made by students. And Pramodini Oinam Nabakumar, Laishram Chauhal and a driver of AIR Imphal Y Nilamani who died during the protest. On the occasion, President of AMSU headquarter Peter Laishram unfurled the AMSU flag and students from various schools and colleges also paid their tributes to the martyrs. The photos of the heroes were carried in a floral planquin from Pishum Chinga to DM College campus, where a public meeting was held. The meet was attended by former President of AMSU A. Manisana, President of AMSU Peter Laishram, President of Neso Sinam Prakash, President of Apunba Manipur Kanba Imalup, PH Sakhi Lema, and several others. Speaking on the occasion, Peter Laishram said that the man made famine can happen again in Manipur. He raised concern about the current drought-like situation facing the state and the increased price of rice. He urged the government to look into the matter, adding that AMSU will always stand against shortage of rice in the state. The All Manipur Students' Union District Committee Juribam also observed the 54 Hunger Marches Day at Juribam Higher Secondary School Auditorium Hall today. To mark the occasion, a procession was taken out 
from JHS school which passed through the streets of Jury Bridge and Babulpara Patrol Pump. Students from schools across Juribam took part in the procession held under the banner of AMSU. Play cards that read, Long live Manipur, Long live AMSU and Save the Indigenous People of Manipur were held by the participants during the procession. They later paid rich frol tribute to N. Pramodini, O. Nana Kumar, L. Chauban and Nilamani who died in the mass uprising of 1965. Former General Secretary of AMSU Jiri Branch as Golapi Mitai, President of AMSU District Committee, Juribam, W. Dimocha Singh, Vice President of AMSU Headquarter, L. Athoba Mitai, Advisor of AMSU District Committee, Juribam, E. Devan Singh, Former President of AMSU, C. C. Assam, L. Nandamohan, and Former President of AMSU District Committee, Juribam H. Priyananda Singh, shared the dais as Chief Guest, President, and Guest of Honor during the function. A two minute silence was observed as a mark of respect to the departed souls. The mother-son duo Chudara Thana and Dr. Krishna Kumar from Mysore, Karnataka have reached Imphal. Speaking to the media at Manipur Press Club today, the mother-son duo scooter riders expressed happiness to Royal Motors for their hospitality. Narrating about their tour, Krishna Kumar said that whatever he is today is because of his parents. Krishna added that, that the scooter left by his father has been with him in his every journey. Krishna Kumar, aged 40 years, and his mother, Chudarathana, aged 80 years, reached Manipur after touring Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Pondicherry, Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra, Goa, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Jharkhand, Bihar, West Bengal, Sikkim, Nepal, Bhutan, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Tripura, and Nagaland. Their next visit will be Moray in Tegnopal district of Manipur. D. Krishna Kumar and Chudarathana are inspiring people with their temple trip across India, covering over 18 states in 564 days, all on a humble Bajaj Chetak scooter. ये पृथ्वी से छोड़कर स्वर्गवासी होने के बाद हम सोचने तो फायदा नहीं। ये मेरा माता पिता का ऊपर मैं कुछ भी नहीं किया, मेरा माता को ये इच्छा था, मेरा पिताजी को ये इच्छा था, मैं मैं पैसा का पीछे भाग लिया हम करियर का पैसा सी उस समय में गिल्ट आता है हमको टिल माय लास्ट ब्रेथ इट विल इट विल पे इट विल गिव पिंच इट विल गिव पेन टू मी दैट्स व्हाई इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड देयर वैल्यू देयर सी बोलने वाला भगवान है माता पिता है ना आज तक मैं बोलने वाला भगवान नहीं देखा आप देखे या बोलने वाला भगवान बोलने वाला भगवान है तो ये माता पिता है सब आपका माता पिता आपको बोलने वाला हमारा माता ऐसा है माता पिता है बोलने वाला भगवान इसलिए उसका इच्छा पूरा करना इस सेंस ऑफ प्रायरिटीज on the last and concluding day of the Manipur Legislative Assembly monsoon session today speaker of the house Y Kim Chan announced the selection of seven members each for committee on public accounts committee on estimates and committee on public undertakings for the financial year 2019-20 the house announced the names of MLAs Dr Chaltaulian Amo D.D. Thaisi, K. Megha Chandra, P. Brojan, K. H. Joykishan, S. Ranjan and T. H. Satyabrata as the members of Committee on Public Accounts. MLA's Bira, Yamthong, Haukip, M.D. Fazur Rahim, N. Indrajit, L. Rameshor, L. Laishio and Suraj Kumar Okram as the members of Committee on Estimates, while MLA's D. Karunthang, K. S. H. Biren, L. Radha Kishor, A. K. Mirabai, R. K. Imo, as Subhachandra and H. Dingo as the members of Committee on Public Undertakings. We are heading to a quick break, but stay tuned. Uh,
Salai Holdings Private Limited ke Honorable Chairman and Managing Director Dr. Narimbam Samarjit Singh Masa Hujay Hujay Business Trip ki damakta Salai ki Overseas Company Singh Yeng Chinba Kalunay na Tungan Tungan Ba Pipeline Da Lai Riba Tungan Tungan Ba Country Singh Tata Natana India Amadi Maru Oina Nordis ki Oina Manipur Yauna Paikat Kada Ba Mega Project Singh Adu ki damakta Overseas Bank Singh ka Stakeholder Oye Mena Bagi Maru Oye Ba Meeting Singh Yau Ba Amadi Meeting Singh Kandak Toba Sat Kipena Maram Oye Raga Tungan Tungan Ba Club CSO Lanai ki Furup ki Lining ki Amadi Culture ka Mari Lena Ba Khudi Bagna Salai ki Lusing Purel oi bini bana halak tri fau putang hai bini ba tam bini makhudi mak ngai bini ba biam dan noluk cari noluk na hai jari ba board of directors salai holdings private limited. Kangla food product ye iram dongya sheng ma mahong. Yeng dio garlic mixer khata na tana. Kangla agya no wo food item singi mahong kangla bata ngauro idawa kanawa nai bago. Kangla. Welcome back. Lashram Purnima Devi Handloom and Handicraft Development Society, Hairok Thobal District, has distributed 30 looms to women weavers for the first phase. The step has been taken up by the society to improve the financial condition of women weavers. Ma Market was open today at Wangkhai Angom Lekai Club Ilam Park, Imphal East. Ma Temporary Market Shed has been opening in different places of Imphal since the past few weeks under international peace and social advancement and other social organizations. Over 80 different stalls were opened at the World Club Ground. Speaking to Pressman Media in charge of Mao Imphal Coordination Committee, Waikom Rabi said that there will be unity of the hills and valley if the people work hand in hand. IPSA, in collaboration with several other social organizations, have been opening temporary Mao market shed at different places of Imphal in the interest of Mao people, he said. Rabi also appealed to the state government to fulfill the demand of an Imphal Mao market shed. Ngasigi numit lah sida mau market suta ba asing umlo bun numit asida mau market kui ba asing betang dang mama miam dan ngasigi lengak asin kangen biragadi mau amadi tanggi isin au singi merkta nungsi nana bagi sahi kia sang nas yang kolak liba se mahi yali haina lauga gani haina ipsa amadi mau amadi ipsa ga sepmi nari bong asin singi mai kai digi tamzage. The Baby Sina Joint Action Committee has said it will take up fresh agitation if Chief Minister Ann Biren fails to hand over the case of Baby Sina to Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI, by September 31st, according to a release from the JSC. Protesting over the government's alleged failure to deliver justice for Baby Sana, who was found dead in a suspicious manner inside the hostel room of Standard Robert Higher Secondary School, Kanchipur, on July 18, the Wabagai Transport Cooperative Society Limited will observe a cease work strike on August 29. The cease work strike is also in support of Baby Sana's JAC's fight for justice, the transport body said. All passenger vehicles and other vehicles under the organization will stay off the road on this day, it informed. In support of the protest by the labourers of Food Corporation of India, Juribam, from August 14, demanding up-to-date and better wages, labourers of FCI Sangai Pro launched a cease work strike and staged a human chain protest along Tidim Road, Imphal today. Treasurer of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution Labour Welfare Association, Romesh Lystrom, said that the labourers of FCI, Juribam, are demanding increase in labour charges. They demand Rs 6 for lifting a 50 kg bag for which only Rs 2 is currently paid. Romesh demanded that the government fulfill the demand by September 5th. Mm -hmm. 
Women Association for Social Economic Development, Palace Gate Imphal, has condoled the untimely demise of its finance secretary, Bidhu Lema of Nambul Chingmang, on August 25th following an illness. According to a press note from the organization, a condolence meeting was held at its office today and a two-minute silence was also observed by the participants as a mark of respect to the departed soul. A 21-day-long summer school training program on agricultural education, entrepreneurship and skill development under the aegis of Education Division ICAR New Delhi kickstarts at Central Agricultural University in fall today. The training program is organized by Directorate of Instruction, Central Agricultural University. Our university, but it is located in the northeastern region, the remote corner of the country. We are having 13 colleges in seven states of the northeastern region. In addition to that, we are also having six Krishidigam Kendras, six multi technology testing centers and the six vocational training centers. Why we are focused on multi-technology testing center? Why on vocational training center? Because education cannot, educate, culture education, you know, it cannot move along. It has to combine with, what to say, entrepreneurship or entrepreneurship. Another short break, but coming up. Manipur Thangta team leaves for South Korea to participate in World Martial Arts Festival. Left. India's favorite salon and spa now at Infa. Our services are hair cut, hair straightening, global color, body spa, hair spa, waxing, threading, facial and treatment, hand and feet care, makeup. Body massage. Studio 11. Salon and Spa Infog look fabulous. Fitness World Building, Singzamai Mathak Jong Tham Lekai Infal West. Phone number 0385 2440164. Manipur de Ihan Hanbo Oina Lamjing Bud Jewelry Na Market of Hangbas Sana Mayam Sigi Quality Check Tobugi Kudong Java Pijari. Adom Adom ki lajari bas sana da yau riba eloy amad elements kaya ki chang marik chumna accurate quality amadi quantity galoy na na khangan bangam lagani. Lamjing bas jewellery na pijari bas khudong chab asilo bhi ho adom ki sana adu sengi na tragas seng de high bagi chingna badu kohan bhi ho. Aku pamarol ki damak Lamjing bas jewellery da links in bilo. Lamjing bas jewellery good quality is our priority. Welcome back. A Thangta team from Manipur representing India today left Imphal to participate in the World Martial Arts Festival to be held in South Korea from August 29 to September 6. Uh, International Olympic Committee da saruk yan na bagi yaurok na na bagi tanja adu lau na na bukhon na bata thang ta gitim kaya na wa na kona di adu manung the World Martial Arts Union gi manung da World Thang Ta Federation Thang Ta Federation of India amadi Manipur ke leri bukhay alam thang ta Association Manipur na ngasi bhau da awa na thi dana century si kumbat century best di da ekhoy ki kangli pa ki miam na sali bati machina mai pa na halak na na bagi mai pa na amadi ekhoy ki India ki, Manipur ki, koi ki masak thok ba, thapak adu pang thok na bukhona ba da laibang miyam da ki, amadi ibu thok pakhang ba da ki, yai pa thok jana adu ni jari. Manipur University of Culture Teachers Association has strongly condemned the assault on assistant professor of Thangta of the 
University, Yang Hom Sanjit Kumar by unidentified miscreants at Sawongbung while returning home last evening. This was stated in a press release from Mokta today. It further mentioned that during the incident, the miscreants also took away Professor Sanjit Kumar's belongings like mobile phone, books and some documents. They even fired a shot in the air when the professor tried to chase them. Professor Sanjit Kumar escaped unhurt in the incident. Mukta appealed the concerned authority to look into the matter and book the culprits at the earliest. Dr. L. W. Ananta of Manipur has been selected as the President of International Yoga Physics Federation during the annual general meeting of the Federation held at Rajasthan Bhavan of Jamshedpur on August 24. This was informed in a press release today from Education Department, Physical Education Teachers Association, Imphal. One stop center, uh, Saki, located inside the Thawal DC complex, was reopened today following the related department sanctioned the pending wages of workers. It is worth mentioning that the one stop center was shut down by workers in protest from August 2 over wage issue. The annual Manipuri Students Freshers Meet 2019 was held at Rajiv Bhavan in Silchar, Assam. The event organized by all Assam Manipuri Students Union was participated by more than 1,000 students. President of AMSU, Pangambam Nilkanta, Social Scientist Dr. Dhanabir Lashram, of Vice President of AMSU, Lashram Athobu were among others who were on the dais during the program. Talking on the sidelines of the function, Dr. Dhanabir Lashram stressed on the need of cultivating a sense of nationalism among the student community. He also underlined the importance of building a self-sustained society. As a part of the event, 150 topper students of class 10 and 12 were felicitated by AMSU. Mr. and Ms. Freshers were also chosen during the event. The day was wrapped up with musical performances by Sori Senjam, Raj Ilangbam, Bidyamani and others. The first international Coco Tech officials clinic come seminar will be held from August 30 to 31st at Ajme Rajasthan, according to a press release by Manipur Amateur Coco Association. Chairman of Manipur Amateur Coco Association M. Madhu Sudan Singh, along with four other officials, M. Manglem, National Institute of Sports NIS Coach Coco, K. H. Imo Singh, NIS Coach Coco, senior referees and Mani Har Singh and Sanjeev Kumar Singh have been selected to take part in this seminar, according to a press release. Pakistan and China have signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the Enhancement of Defence Cooperation and Capacity Building of the Pakistani Army as the top generals of the two armies discussed the situation in Jammu and Kashmir. Tensions between India and Pakistan spiked after New Delhi abrogated provisions of Article 370 of the Constitution that gave the special status to Jammu and Kashmir. China's Central Military Commission Vice Chairman Zhu Ziliang visited the Pakistan Army's general headquarters in Rawalpindi with a high-level delegation on Monday and held a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Pakistan's Army Chief Kamar Zabed Bajwa. Now the newspaper headlines. The Shanghai Express Mysterious death of N. Baby Sana. Chief Minister calls for calm, says government has returned to Department of Personnel and Training. Government to contact Interpol to nab drug lord Luke Jose. Infal Airport renamed Biotikan Rajit International Airport. Justice before final settlement, says Cookie in P. Manipur. The People's Chronicle. Opposition quizzes Chief Minister over Baby Sana case. Drug Caesar. Infal Airport christened Bietikendrijit International Airport. Anti corruption cell remains headless. Monsoon Assembly session kicks off. Ex members recalled. Center to identify illegal migrants in Nagaland. Infal Free Press. Eighth session of 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly begins. Opposition leaders suggest Chief Minister Office to consider handing over Baby Sana's case to CBI. Manipur People's Democratic Alliance appeals Biran to take State Assembly resolution to protect Manipur. House resolves to rename Infal International Airport as Biritikendrijit Airport. The Morning Bell Monsoon session of Assembly begins. Infal Airport to be renamed Biritikendrijit International Airport. Governor gives assent to six bills. Baby Sana death case. Case not yet handed to the CBI. Congress MLA Joy Kisson grills Chief Minister Birain. Chief Minister Mull's reward to CSOs supporting government's war against drugs.
drugs being sold in schools too, says CM. Go clean! Campaign gets positive response from the public. Before we wrap up the top stories once again. Manipur government planning for alternative Kharif crop production. Tributes paid to student martyrs on Hunger Marches Day. On a Bajaj Chetak scooter, mother son duo reaches Imphal. This is all we have for now. Keep watching Times of Manipur.